Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use reference images in Midjourney to create some amazing effects for your portrait photos. Let's get started. So for this video, I'm going to be using some photos from Unsplash, which is a free photo site, and we're going to use those as our reference photos for today. So I'm going to start by hitting the little plus here and just go ahead and upload our file. And this is going to be our first reference photo here. So I'm going to go ahead and want to right click on that and say copy link. And then we're going to use our regular command, which is imagine. And then for our prompt, we're going to paste in that link first. And then um, you can put in different things. So you could say uh, something that's going to either change the style, but intended to keep the same background or similar background, or you could do like a totally different environment and say uh, have a scene where somebody is on the beach or on a boat or something like that. So for our first one, let's try cyberpunk, oh, uh, neon and sunset. And let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so mid journey finished and you can see they're definitely not the same as our model here, um, but you can see how there are also some similarities in the appearance. So definitely not the same, but those are some interesting ideas that we could kind of work off of and modify and try to create something better if we wanted to. Um, so let's try uploading another photo here and we're gonna try a few more effects. So same thing, we're going to copy the link and for our command, of course, imagine and paste in our photo first. And for this one, we're gonna say comic book style. Um, and let's say bright colors. Okay, so Let's see what we've got here. So you can see, same thing, Our uh, the output of Midjourney is definitely not quite the same as our model. You could see there's definitely some, some differences, but there's also a lot of similarities. And it definitely put out some really cool options for us here. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit more with this last photo. And so this one, same thing, we're going to copy our link and let's try to copy an artistic style of a famous artist. So let's say in the style of Matisse, I think that's how you spell Matisse, hopefully. Okay, so here you can see our output definitely changed some of his features. Uh, they tend to appear a lot more feminine in the output, but you can definitely see how I copied some of the elements of the main photo. And um, I think had we been a little bit more specific, we could probably make him look a little bit more like the actual input photo here. So I'm going to try using that same uh, last reference photo and explore another option which is placing somebody in a different setting. So we're going to paste that in and let's say um, on a cruise ship on a cruise ship deck. All right, and so just again for reference, this is our model here, and this is a really cool output. So you can actually see um, here, it looks like a couple different versions of him standing on deck of a cruise ship. So, you know, really interesting. And as you play around with different settings and environments, you really can come up with so many different ideas. And 
I think that if we were a little bit more zoomed in on his face, that would be a little bit more prominent, but this photo here is kind of showing uh, the majority of his body. So um, I just want to try one more. We go back to our original model here. And paste that in and let's just say a uh, in the style of a digital illustration a cityscape and let's see what we get okay so these all look pretty cool here I like this um, the style of output that it had here you can see how it kind of modified what we were doing to have that digital illustration style and um, a lot of these turned out uh, pretty good but this is just kind of to give you an overview of some of the different things that you can do and explore with Midjourney and the possibilities are really far and wide so um, this is just kind of a great reference but if you want to create cool profile photos or portraits um, this is a great place to start. I hope that you found today's video helpful and if you did please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell because I'm going to have a ton more AI and mid-journey tutorials and experiments coming up here soon that you definitely do not want to miss. So I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.